Hi, my name is Kim Arita, and this is my PLL project. And my first topic that I will talk about and how I think I improved on it, and the main parts of what I improved on were note taking, gathering, research, finding sources, and using valid sources. Here is one example of the old notes that I used to take, and they were not organized. There, no, there was no bold to bring out important info that I needed, and the labels are not bolded. For example, over here it says for straight angle over there. I should have had a bullet there so, I can, so it stands out more so I can, whenever I'm going over the notes, I, can, I see it better. And here's an example of one of my new notes that I take. So the new notes, they're more organized. They're, the arrows of importance are bolded. The topic is clearly described in the title. For example, here, I bolded was it had an honor, and those are the main parts of that sec for that sentence that I wanted to highlight. And my relation to the superhero is the villain is a topic that you research, that you're researching, and you want to conquer that topic. So what I used to conquer that topic using my superhero is the notes that you take and the research. So using the research, you can destroy the topic and get a good grade on your assignment. The next thing I want to talk about that I think I improved on is infographics, and the thing that I improved on is organization information, the visuals, and relations to each topic. Here's an example with my old infographics, and the visuals had little to no description. Over here, like before, you, I mean, this one, you had, uh, there's no description of telling about it. The words were kind of hard to read because they're all scrunched together, and it was hard to understand what the topic was about because the topic was pretty broad. And this is an example of one of my new infographics. The visuals had more descriptions, as you can see all the more captions that are up there. The words were easier to read because they weren't all scrunched together and like the marker was not going over like the other sentence. And the topic is clear to understand because the title gives a general idea of what the whole thing is about. And, yeah. and my relation to superhero is the topic, I mean the villain is the organization information is pretty much the criteria of an infographic. And what I use to conquer that infographic is using my using just organization skills, information information skills and relationship skills to figure out how to relate the infographic to the topic. And the next thing I feel that I improved on is group collaboration and things that I mainly improved on is thinking about others, working together including everybody and sharing the workload. And this is an example of how I think I improved in group collaborations during the school, school project. During the school project, before, like last year when I used to do presentations, I would always like, not presentations, when I used to do group collaborations, I would always end up doing something by myself because I wouldn't feel comfortable with what my partner was doing. But this year, I feel I did a little bit better because I collaborated more with all my partners took turns while we're, while we're building and we helped each other out and made sure everyone was included. My relation to the superheroes is the villain is the temptation to do everything by yourself. And what I did to conquer that temptation is using my collaboration skills and making sure everybody was included and working together. The next thing that I feel that I improved on is reflections. And the things that I feel I improved on is Telling what I did in complete details, explaining what I did without even go, without going overboard, and being organized in my reflections. Here's an example of one of my new reflections from the Heroes Day, Fashion Humanities Heroes Day project. And in this reflection, I feel that I explained it, explained the topic clearly without with using a lot of details, but having the length not too long but not too short. And the reader if you were to read it, you should understand what happened in, uh, very easily. And this is an example of my old reflection that I took in the beginning of the year. It's a little shorter than the other ones because I used a lot and the, and the sentences are a little too long because I used too much details in a sentence and it ended up not making too much sense and it's not easy to interpret what's going on. 
my relation to Superheroes is the villain is the info information you need to have and how incredibly detailed you need to be. And my superhero is being able to think in another person's shoes so that when they're reading it, you can they can clearly understand what you what you mean and what you're talking about. And the last thing I feel I improved on is public speaking. And uh, yeah, it's talking to the audience, speaking clearly, having a good pace, and making eye contact. And here's an example of this from the Heroes Day project. I use a reflection because I had no images from the Heroes Day. So before last year when I used to do presentations, I would always feel really nervous and like during the science fair I would be like every single person I talked to I was really nervous and like more than I am now. And when I was during the Hillsbury project, for the first couple people, I was really nervous. And as more people started to come, I felt better and started just talking sh more to them with, like, with better eye contact. And the relation to the superhero is, uh, is, uh, is the villain, is the audience, and, the ten <coughs> and my tendencies to mess up. So what I try to do to conquer that is just not messing up and using uh, just following the criteria, and if you follow the criteria, you would do all right. And now I have a short story that I'm going to talk In the city of Mid Pacific, there are many villains, and there is one superhero who is there to defeat him. His name is Brainiac, who has the powers to investigate and find things out. The ability to see things planned out in his mind, the ability to work with other heroes, the ability to restate the crime in great detail, the ability to perform in front of a crowd. One day, a group of villains came to the city and put his skills to the test. In the city of Mid-Pacific, the villain Mind Eraser was there to defeat Brainiac and made him forget everything about himself. So the Brainiac used his amazing skills of being able to research and investigate the problem and finds that the villain finds the villain then turns him into the police without the villain figuring out who turned him in. Now another villain named the Scrambler would make everything scrambled and unorganized. So what happened was the Scrambler would make all the words on the street signs scrambled and now got unorganized so that it would cause chaos. So the people in the city called over the Brainiac and told him to use his powers of making everything organized so that he could remake the signs in correct order. The scrambler got to the point where everything was organized. He got so dizzy because he could only be around unorganized things. That he fainted and was captured by the Brainiac. Another problem solved by the Brainiac when another one has just been created. The villain named the Duplicator arrived and made 10 duplicates of himself. So what the Brainiac had to do was collaborate with other heroes and create a force that could not be defeated. He worked well with the other heroes that they created a bond that could not be destroyed. So they defeated him in a hurry and was plotted by the people in the city. Now another villain arose on the horizon and his name was a Confuser. The Confuser had the ability to confuse everyone so they didn't know who he was and the Brainiac was not confused because he had already been once confused. So what he did was he used his ability to explain something in great detail that they instantly got what he was saying and, they, and he explained to the whole city who the confuser was. After they figured out who he was, they turned, him, they turned on him and defeated him because the only tactic was confusing and once he became confused once, he could not be confused again. Now lastly, the, dupli the duplicator came back and fought the Brainiac once more, but, his time, but this time he doubled the whole city to make the Brainiac nervous about performing in front of a great crowd. But this did not nervous the brain act. He used the skills of being able to perform in any circumstance or scenario. He fought the duplicator and put him away for good, and locked him up in the high security prison all over the city. Now the invasion of the villains were over, and the city greatly thanked the brain act for all the heroic work he he done to protect their city. He named the city's he was named the city's leader and deprived the city of all evil, and the city was never afraid of anything after this important event in the city's history. Yeah. Um, what was your, what do you think your strongest, uh, or your best part of your fuel was? Uh, mm, I don't know. My evidence. Okay. And what was your biggest challenge for your fuel? When I was practicing, I could never get under nine minutes. And I still didn't. <laughs> okay, great job, Keelan.